Hello friends, this video on application of derivatives part 30 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 29. So prove that the volume of the largest cone that can be inscribed in the circle of radius r is 8 by 27 of its. So we have a cone, we have a sphere. So we have one sphere. In this sphere, we are trying to inscribe a cone and we have to find that, prove that the volume of cone is equal to 8 by 27 volume of sphere, correct? 8 by 27 volume of sphere is equal to volume of largest cone. So if you see in this question we are talking about the largest cone, volume of the largest cone. So here is the place where we are going to use maximum and minimum. So the approach can be very simple. I can find the equation of volume of cone, volume of cone in terms of r or, or h only one variable and then I can find v dash of volume of cone. I can make it to 0. Whatever r or h I get, that will be the value of r or h where it is maximum or minimum. I can double check with uh, v da double dash. Once I have the value of r or h, I can find the volume of the cone actually with that value and then I can check whether that volume is coming out to be 8 by 27 of the volume of the sphere. Here r is given. r is something which we know and that is capital R. So if you check this particular cone, if you see this particular cone, let, let me draw this guy, this guy is the h, height actually. This guy is my height, right? This guy is my small r. Or small r, I will make it x only, let my x, this be x because the uh, radius is not known, the radius be x but this guy is r capital R correct this guy is also capital R from here to here this guy will be root of r square minus x square so if you see the height of the cone will be nothing but r plus root of r square minus x square. Why I am doing this because I wanted to find h in terms of x now because I will create this equation because this guy if you see volume of cone is nothing but 1 by 3 pi r square h. My r is x here and h also I want to now put in the form of x and I am able to do because r is constant so I can say that this is done. This is nothing but 1 by 3 pi x square and h is nothing but r plus root of r square minus x square. So if you see I wrote the volume of cone in terms of x. So let's find v dash because I want to find the minimum value, sorry the maximum value. So v dash will be nothing but, will be nothing but if you solve this, if you take this out there are two different parts. So this is r x square pi by 3, so this becomes r by 3 pi is constant here, correct? Right? And this becomes 2x, first part gone plus, now in second part, let's differentiate the first part, uh, keep the first second part constant, it's nothing but r square minus x square, differentiate the first part, that becomes 1 by 3, r square becomes 2x, plus, now keep the first part constant, 1 by 3 pi x square, differentiate the second part, this guy, this is, this is to the power 1 by 2 this becomes 1 by 2 into r square minus x square and x square if you differentiate this becomes minus 2x. This is what you get. You can cancel these parts right minus 2 sorry 2 to cancel this x is there. And this is equal to 0 actually. So if you solve this complex equation which I won't do for you you can solve it on your own with this if you solve you get x as nothing but 8 by 9 
R square. X square is 8 by 9 R square. You just solve this, this little uh, lengthy equation. You solve this, you get X square as 8 by 9. Now, then to double check, you can find V double dash also if you want. And then you will find that this guy is less than 0. So this is the maximum. Once I have everything done, I have x square as this value. Now I can find the value of volume of cone. That is nothing but if you see 1 by 3 pi x square that is 8 by 9 r square into r plus root r square minus x square that is 8 by 9 r square. Correct. So if you solve this, this is nothing but this 8, 9, 3, 27 pi r square. Correct. And this is r plus 8 by 9, 1 minus 8 by 9 is 1 by 9, root 1 by 9 is 1 by 3, 1 by 3 r plus r, 4 by 3, 4 by 3 r. Correct. This is nothing but 8 by 27 into 4 by 3 pi r cube. Correct. And this is nothing but 8 by 27 into volume of sphere. And that is what I have to prove. That volume of cone is 8 by 27 of volume of sphere. Just understand the logic what we did. We, we knew that we can write h in forms of x. We got this, that was a critical part here. I could write h in form of x. Once I have h in form of x, I just found the volume of cone and differentiated this. I got the value of x to be x square to be 8 by 9 r square. With this value of x, I found the volume of cone to be 8 by 27 volume of square. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.